this module, we'll be looking at how you can easily swap out a source in Integration Designer Apex. Let's get started. A living room kitchen, we have a Sony Blu-ray. Well, let's say we don't have a Sony Blu-ray. We want to have a, a Panasonic, but we already added some sweet, sweet customization to a template page. Um, I'm not going to even pretend that I know what I'm doing here to make things look nice. I usually make things worse. Uh, same thing with my T2X. I've done some cool stuff. Um, I want to keep all of these custom changes I've made, but I just want to swap out the codes that's living in the background. We can now do that. I'm going to go ahead and add a new device to my living room kitchen. I'm going to grab a Panasonic Blu-ray, add that guy in. I'll go to the same port because I'm probably going to just swap out my emitter. And I'm not going to add any pages. I'll just leave the pages behind. I'll go ahead and select Add Device. I'm going to select No. So now I have a source on the left with no pages associated with it. Well, let's go ahead and associate some pages for it. I'll take my T2X, right-click on that page, go to Page Properties, Auto Programming, select a new source in which to auto-program my page. I'm changing it from Sony Blu-ray to my Panasonic Blu-ray. I'll press OK. That page now disappears. We are no longer living within the Sony Blu-ray. It's now moved to my Panasonic. I select the page. You'll see all my sweet custom programming has come with it. And not only that, but the command now that was living behind that tag has also swapped as well. Let's do that one more time. I'll go back to my Sony Blu-ray, right click on my old page, go to the page properties, go to the auto programming tab, change the source to which the page is tied, which is for auto programming. I'll press OK. The page disappears. Now we have a a Sony Blu-ray source with no pages associated with it, with it whatsoever. So I can just right click and delete it. Gone. And now we have my Panasonic Blu-ray page with all the sweet customization I've done and all of the background commands have gone with it as well. No more are we searching for individual commands. We are now swapping entire sources. We are t swapping drivers. We are swapping TVs, receivers, all these things. As long as it's properly tagged in some way, shape, or form or another, we can swap out that code that's happening in the background. 